Um, Kristen, what are you doing? Searching for clues. Clues? Context clues. Kristen, you don't actually need a magnifying glass to find context clues. You don't? No, give me that. There are a bunch of different types of context clues. Yeah, like for instance, a definition context clue. What's that? That is when the definition of a word is stated in the sentence. Okay, as in the farmer plants tulips, a type of flower. Right, then there are example context clues. That's when you get an example that can help you determine the meaning. Like, uh, oh, you can tell he was conceited because he always talked about how great he thought he was. Good example, Chloe. Thanks. How about this one? Comparison context clues. That's when you get a hint at the meaning of the word based on a comparison. A comparison, like, I don't like persimmons, but apples and pears are delicious. So persimmons are a type of fruit? That's it. Yeah. How about contrast context clues? That's when you get the meaning of the word through a contrast. Hmm, I don't know. How about this? Pigtails were cute, but Chloe preferred to wear her hair in a single braid instead. That's pretty good. But is the vocabulary word pigtails? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Nothing, just checking. Okay, last one. A cause and effect context clue. That's when you get the meaning of the word through the use of a cause and effect relationship. Okay, Chloe was hungry. After she ate Kristen's sandwich, she felt replete. You saying you want my sandwich? No, nope, just an example. What kind is it anyway? Let's review. Mm -hmm.